the state of Florida is the state, uh, is the place where woke goes to die. The governor's war on woke hits home at a Bay Area college. Our children are being made pawns to this man's political aspirations. Some parents and students with big questions. Tonight, 8 on your side, investigator Masa Saidi takes their concerns to one of the most controversial new board appointees. What could students expect? We want to go back to the founding principles of this college. Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to have that story in just a moment. But first tonight, some breaking news. A shooting in Lakeland that's left nine people injured, two of them critically. Eagle at HD flying over that scene just a short while ago, and you can see it for yourself. This is near Iowa Avenue North and Plum Street. A lot of activity here. Police receiving this call about the shooting just a couple of hours ago. And we have a reporter on the way to the scene there on the ground. We're going to continue to bring you updates throughout this newscast and beyond. There will be a news conference coming up at 7 o'clock. We'll be watching for that. And we will, of course, carry that live here on News Channel 8 as well as streaming on the WFLA app. All right. Now, there is plenty of passion surrounding the power shift at Sarasota's new college. And tomorrow, it will all be on display as students face off with half a dozen new board members handpicked by Governor Ron DeSantis. Investigator Masa Saidi joins us now with what we can expect tomorrow. Masa. Stacey Keith, good evening. One new board member just floated the idea of replacing the school's president and firing all of the faculty. Tonight, some students fear everything is about to change. Tensions running high at New College last week. An informal meet and greet with the governor's new board appointees nearly canceled after one received a death threat. With police on campus, the show went on. I chose this school because I felt that I could truly be me. Coming here, I felt very accepted. A progressive state school in Sarasota. There's fewer than 700 enrolled and no traditional grades. It's a place where students like Jasmine Doyle can create their own majors. We have strides to make an Africana studies program, and I have strong feelings that this will not persist if these changes go along. This school is nothing short of a blessing. A small bastion of safety in an increasingly hostile Florida. He is stripping away the freedoms of the students. Parents critical of Governor Ron DeSantis. Earlier this month, the governor reshaped the college's board, appointing six new conservative trustees. The governor's office tells me new college has put ideology above learning. And more than other state schools, the cost of tuition is spiking, enrollment is declining, and the courses are impractical. It's uh, the bottom performing university according to the Board of Governors standards. We have tremendous opportunity here. New trustee Chris Rufo helped spark the current debate on critical race theory. Now he says he wants to abolish diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at state schools, including New College. If these DEI offices stifle expression, they stifle students on campus. Some students, including LGBT students, tell me that they worry this will no longer be a safe place for them. What do you want to say to those students? Yeah, I, I'm going to say that the principle is very simple. You treat every individual as, as equal. People of all racial backgrounds, people of different sexual orientations. My promise is that you're going to be treated with equal dignity. Your individual rights will be protected. Uh, and I look forward to working with you. Tonight, for students like Dylan Hogan, it's a waiting game. I just hope that the trustees' words of making New College still a place for diverse ideology uh, is what the diverse ideology is today. People very passionate on both sides of this. Now, we're going to learn a lot more tomorrow at 3 p.m. Again, that's the first board meeting with the governor's new trustees. The governor's office tells me the taxpayers, no matter what side of the aisle they're on, they want the school to provide a quality education. And, Masa, of course, a lot of people want to see the school succeed, but the critics are saying it's not succeeding. It's failing. Why? It's going back to the enrollment numbers. The governor's office says New College has fallen short of its stated goal to reach 1,200 enrolled students. They went from having 800 plus students and now that number has fallen to approximately 660 students. They're hoping to increase the enrollment with the changes.